What's going on guys? So I wanted to show you what we're looking at with the holding system. See here, this tank is pretty much empty. All I got in here is Zoas. Um, and my, uh, well, I got a couple of SPS frags up here off one of my colonies. Um, I have my Mini Maxi Rainbow Carpet and Enemy. And the uh, Tang, the Blue Tang is still down here. Um, and still all my SPS are down in here. I'm not ready to move them over. But, so anyways, alright, cool. So you see, we're pretty much empty here. This tank, almost empty. Um, what I'm going to be doing tonight, hopefully, and this is a big hopefully anyways, we're going to get the RBTA and the clowns in tonight. Hopefully. So what I'm going to have to do is some water quality test. Show you what I got going on here. I added quite a bit more corals. It just so happens to be my test kit right there waiting for me. Um, the lights just turned on, so everything's not completely opened up right now. But everything is still doing wonderful. The uh, brain has got massive polyp extension. Probably not going to show up on the video, but tentacles are flying out of this bad boy. I don't know if you can see those or not. But yeah, everything's doing well. The Philias. This is not going to be the layout, guys, of the tank. Um, I'm just getting corals in here right now. Um, so I'm going to be putting the anemone over here on this rock after I do these water quality tests to uh, make sure the tank is ready for this bad boy. Really hoping this uh, bubble coral. I don't know, a lot of the corals seem to have lost some color in the holding system. I did frag a piece of my Monopora digitata. I don't know if you can see there. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a good zoom in on it. But it has really, really good polyp extension, and it's been in the tank now for a couple of days, so. It looks really good. This is going to kind of be my other test piece. The other piece, the other acro I had in here, I put in like from day one of me mixing salt. So it got beat up through the cycle and died. So we're going to see how this Monopora does. And hopefully we can start adding some SPS here in the next couple weeks. Um, this uh, Trachophilia I got from a, a local reefer because as you can see here, it's doing some polyp bail. Um, so hopefully uh, I can get it to... Just live a healthy life as it is. It's not going to reattach to the skeleton, but hopefully the polyp bale. The polyp bale has stopped. Um, it was receding really quick in his tank. He had very, very, very high nitrates, and he was a newer reefer. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing to be a newer reefer, but I just don't think he was quite ready to uh, step up past the softy phase yet, considering his tank was very, very, very new. Um, and I'm talking newer than mine, guys. Got my Akins in here. Again, blue light just kills me here. And I got the other, this is the last of my mushrooms in here. This green one back here. And there's the rainbow. I really, really wish the camera would pick up what I got going on here. But, of course, it does not. So, anyways, here we are, guys. I'm going to do some uh, water testing real quick. See where we're at with the levels. And, um... Hopefully, we can get the uh, RBTA and the clowns in today. So, I will come back with a clip on that. Alright, light. Alright, just got done doing the water quality test. And right now, pH is 8.2-ish range. Probably a little bit higher than that. Um, ammonia is zero. Nitrite is zero. And the nitrates is at 5 ppm. So I think we're going to be all right to add the NEM and maybe uh, one of the tangs. No, you know what? I'm just going to do the NEM and the clownfish and then wait a couple more days and test again and see how everything does. Turn down some of the white lights so maybe we can see some of these corals a little bit better. This thing used to be uh, pretty green. Uh, it's lost its green pigment in the holding system. Um, here's the Akins. Camera 
does no justice. And there's that trachophilia and the mushrooms. This is that rainbow one. So yeah. Alright guys. Uh, come back at you when we got the Nem and the clowns in the tank. Alright, peace. Alright guys, here's the Nem. And it decided to anchor itself. Let me turn down some of these blues. It decided to uh, anchor itself onto the rock that I used to have my big, huge monopora on. So what I had to do was crack the uh, monopora off of this rock for now. Um, and I was able to crack that monopora off without breaking it into a zillion pieces. See here, it's still all in one piece, and you can definitely tell where the anemone had uh, started laying down on it. So I'm gonna probably be fragging off a bunch of the dead stuff, but yep, it's all in one piece still. So that's a plus. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that rock there, which you're not gonna be able to see past these LEDs. That rock with the nem on it, and then hopefully the uh, nem moves on to the anemone rock that I made for it so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now my bucket I'm gonna use hopefully uh, the clowns kinda bury themselves in the anemone so I can just get the the nem and the clowns all at the same time that would be ideal so alright alright we got the nem acclimated Screen over so the clowns will jump over. There you go. Really quick video, guys. I got the uh, RBTA in the tank, and it looks really, really, really happy. The transition went much better than I was expecting it. Um, got it in last night. And it hasn't quite moved off the rock that it was on yet onto the actual NEM rock structure that I made for it. But um, hopefully we get it to go onto the structure that it's intended for. If not, you know, I guess so be it, you know. Things happen. But, um, yep, got the clowns and the NEM in, and it is looking beast. Wish I could zoom in for you guys, but I can't. Other half of the tank has still got the blue lights on, so Let's see if I can't focus. Yeah, really nice. Wish I'd get a top down. Too much surface agitation. Well, yeah, guys, got the NEM in. It looks pretty happy. It looks like it might still be moving around some. What I'm gonna do is flip the rock that it's on around. I'm trying to, uh, this will probably be about the third time that I've flipped this rock around, but I'm trying to coax it to go down to the actual intended structure, so I'll flip it around again and uh, see if we can't get it to kind of go that way. I might do it maybe twice more, and if I can't get it to go where I want it, then I'm just going to let it go where it wants to go because it is looking really, really happy, so. Alright guys. Later.